Hello to all our followers and welcome to this new episode of 5 Minutes. Today we talk about how do we take decisions under uncertainty? A simple questionnaire helps to find out with our guest, Dr. David Schroeder, Senior Lecturer of Finance at Birkbeck University of London. David, very welcome to 5 Minutes. It's really great to have you here with us. Thank you. I'm also happy to be here. Thank you. David, in, in your research, you analyze decision making under uncertainty with a special emphasis on the role of ambiguity preferences. What is ambiguity? Uncertainty is a fact of life, and every day we have to make decisions in an uncertain environment. Now, in economics, one key aspect of uncertainty is called ambiguity. The more ambiguous the situation is, the higher the degree of uncertainty. And ambiguity preferences then denote our personal attitude towards ambiguity. Some people like ambiguous situations, while others tend to dislike this type of uncertainty. Thank you. So what is the difference then between ambiguity and risk? Most people think about risk when describing uncertainty. However, Risk and ambiguity capture two different aspects of uncertainty. When we talk about risk, we usually mean a situation where we know the probabilities of the possible outcomes. For example, if you flip a coin, we know that both heads and tails are equally likely. However, in our daily lives, we quite often don't know the exact probabilities of the possible outcomes. And uh, for example, what is the probability of rain tomorrow? We just don't know. Such situations are then called ambiguous. And can we measure people's attitude towards ambiguity? Yes. We have developed a simple online questionnaire where you can measure your own ambiguity attitude for free. Just go on the website www.ambiguitypreferences.org and you can directly test there your ambiguity preference. In addition wow. to ambiguity attitude, you also receive there a more general evaluation of your uncertainty. Oh, thank you very much. So what can we learn about individual decisions when we use this measure? Ambiguity preferences have actually a large impact on the decision we take in our daily life. So, for example, many studies have shown that ambiguity preferences can explain our investment and savings thinking. If we are ambiguity averse, that is, we don't like ambiguous situations, we tend to avoid investments in stock markets. However, if we are ambiguity seeking, we tend to have a positive attitude towards the uncertainty related to investment. Thank you so much, David, for this very interesting discussion. We wish you all the best, and we really hope to see you here again at five minutes. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.